Welcome to communication engineering playlist. Here in this session, I will be solving examples based on amplitude modulation regarding gate. So, I will be considering few examples which were there in previous year gate examination question papers and that I will be solving in this session. So, let us begin this session with first problem where in this problem what is given is 1 megahertz of carrier signal is amplitude modulated by symmetrical square wave of 10 uh, sorry 100 microsecond. So, here carrier signal Fc that is given by 1 megahertz and symmetrical square wave of amplitude modulated signal. So, that is having modulating frequency 1 by 100 microsecond. So, we can say that is 10 kilohertz and 1 megahertz that we can say that is 1000 kilohertz. So, this is what we have carrier frequency and modulating frequency. Now, question is which of the following frequency will not be present in modulated signal. So, here 4 frequencies are given out of which which is not present. Now, first of all when we talk about symmetrical square wave it only contains odd harmonics. So, symmetrical square wave contains only odd harmonics. So, it has only these harmonics like if I say F m then next will be 3 F m then 5 F m. So, likewise square wave will be having harmonics. So, now after having these frequencies which is there in modulating signal what will be the frequency which is which will be there in AM signal. So, in AM signal in AM signal we will be finding frequencies are Fc then Fc plus or minus Fm for this next will be Fc plus or minus 3 Fm for 3 Fm frequency Fc plus or minus 5 Fm for this see that is how frequencies will be there. So, if we check all those frequencies then Fc that is what 1000 kilohertz Fc plus or minus Fm. So, 1000 minus 10 that is 990 990 kilohertz and plus 10 1000 plus 10 that will be 1010 kilohertz. For this 1000 plus 30 so, that is 1030 kilohertz and 1000 minus 30 that is 970 kilohertz. Likewise, you can further calculate for this frequencies will be 1050 kilohertz and 1000 minus 50 that is 950 kilohertz. See, that is how frequencies will be there. So, if we check it in our ABCD, then 990 that is there 1010 1, kilohertz that is even there 1020 that is not there and 1030 that is even there. So, from this we can say this will be our answer. So, this frequency is not present in modulated signal. So, remember one thing when you modulate signal with square wave it contains only odd harmonics and then modulating signal will be having frequency f m then odd harmonics will be f m 3 f m 5 f m like this. So, a m signal that will be having frequency component that will be f c then f c plus minus f m then for harmonics 3 f m it will be f c plus minus 3 f m likewise will be having am components and we can check out 
all those frequency component which is there in AM signal. Let us solve one more problem so it will be more clear. In DSB-SC signal, here DSB-SC signal is to be generated by carrier signal of 1 megahertz. So here carrier signal FC that is what given 1 megahertz. Using non-linear device with input output characteristic V0 is equals to A0 VI plus A1 VI cube. So characteristic is V0 is equals to A0 VI plus A1 VI cube. Let us write it again. V0 is equals to A0 VI plus A1 VI cube. That is what characteristic and even VI is given where A0 and A1 these are constant. The output of non-linear device can be filtered by appropriate bandpass filter. VI is given by AC dash cos 2 pi fc dash t plus mt where mt is message signal then the value of fc dash is how much. So here what we do is we have modulating signal and that is what we passing it through non-linear device and output of non-linear device that is V0 and once we pass this output through bandpass filter, we will be having DSBSC signal. So if we have DSBSC output, then what will be FCDS? So that is what we need to calculate. So let us solve first of all what is V0, then after we will pass it through bandpass filter. So V0 that is a0 into vi, vi is ac dash cos of 2 pi fc dash t plus mt plus a1 into vi cube that is ac dash cos of 2 pi fc dash t plus mt whole cube. Now see here let us re-elaborate it A0 AC dash cos of 2 pi FC dash T plus MT plus MT whole cube. So here this is what A plus B whole cube. So that is A cube plus B cube plus 3AB plus 3AB square plus 3A square B. That is how we can elaborate it. So let us write it a1 into AC dash cube cos cube of 2 pi FC dash T plus MT cube plus 3 A is AC dash cos of 2 pi FC dash T into M square T plus 3 AC dash square cos square 2 pi FC dash T into MT into A1. See this is how signal is there after simplifying this equation. Now what we are doing is we will be passing this V0 through bandpass filter. And when we pass this signal through bandpass filter, it should be DSBSC. It should be DSBSC. So let us see how things are happening. So this is what I have already derived. You can see that. So now once I pass this signal through bandpass filter, it should be double sideband suppressed carrier output. Now 
here i will not solve the entire term by observation only we can understand it so if you see dsbsc that is not having this component it is not having this component it is not having even this component and in this is not even there now here i have done little mistake this is what m square t over here so even m square t is not there in dsbsc so what is my dsbsc signal so that is what there inside of this term so ultimately my dsbsc signal that is there in this term so let us reelaborate this v0 now this terms this these all terms is what like i am ignoring all those terms so just elaborate this term which is having dsbsc relevance so that will be 3 ac dash square cos square 2 pi fc dash t into mt now this is what cos square means 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 so by 2 that i am taking outside 1 plus cos of twice times of 2 pi fc dash into t and this into mt so if i reiterate this again so this will be 3 ac dash square by 2 even a1 is there over here a1 plus 3 ac dash square a1 by 2 that into mt into cos of 2 pi f c dash t see this will be my output even this component will get filter in dsbsc the reason is band pass filter is there so only this is what my output so initially i have explained like see these all components are getting removed this is carrier component this is message component this is even carrier component with higher harmonics this is message component with higher harmonics and this is amplitude modulated signal even with higher harmonics so all those components will get cancel only this will be the present component and out of that you will be finding this is only the component which will be happening now in this this is what dsbsc output with carrier frequency 1 megahertz so it means here this is sorry 2 into this so this will be 4 so here we can say carrier fc that is actually 2 fc des and that is 1 megahertz it means fc des it means fc des that will be 0. Point, 0. Point 0.5 megahertz 0.5 megahertz so we can see that in option like c fc as that has to be 0.5 megahertz i hope that this is clear to you this is little complex example so let us have little understanding again all you need to do is you just take input signal that is this apply it to non linear device so you will be getting some components and focus on dsbsc components eliminate all other components so as you eliminate all other component you will be finding only this component is present so if you elaborate this component you will be finding frequencies 2 fc dash is equals to carrier frequency in dsbsc and fc for this is 1 megahertz so we can say fc dash is 1 megahertz by 2 that is half megahertz so that is how we can solve this problem thank you so much for watching this video you will be finding different categories of problem here in my playlist so stay tuned practice examples write down all those things which i am doing here definitely will understand everything regarding communication engineering regarding gate examination regarding subject so everything that i have made over here for you Thank you so much for watching this video.